Morning guys, welcome to our first online lesson. Um, what we're going to be moving on to this week is we're going to be moving on to the Western region. Now we finished up with our GDA, so this is our second Irish region and it is our peripheral Irish region. Now, if the word peripheral is causing you any doubt whatsoever, what I need you to first do before you actually continue with this video is to go to our first set of regional geography notes over as far as page number 32. And I need you just to glance down through the definition and the characteristics of a peripheral region. Now, once you have that done, take out your Western region notes. For anybody who maybe didn't get the Western region notes, because obviously we left school quite quickly on Thursday, um, make sure you contact the school and we can send them out to you. So there's no problem with that. The Western region notes, just like these here, is our, as I said, second Irish region. It is our peripheral Irish region. So the GDA was our core. This is our peripheral Irish region. Now, incorporated in the Western region is three counties. So as you'll see, if you jot over to page number two, there's three counties within the Western region. That is Galway, Mayo, and Roscommon. So the Western region is three counties. Please do not get it mixed up with the BMW. We're going to stick with the Western region. Why? Because the GDA is our main region, and this is kind of our second, our backup plan in case we're asked to compare and also contrast. Now, the Western region consists of approximately 20% of the land area in the Republic of Ireland, but only contains about 10% of the population, which is a main characteristic of a peripheral region, really. Now, what we're going to start off with today is we're going to start off with our part A question, similar to what we did with our GDA. So guys, if you want to pop over to page number three of the notes, and we're going to have a look at two different style questions that we could be asked for our part A. Now, the questions I have on the board here, or the question I have on the board, is our 2018 question, okay? So here what we're asked, it's our part A. Now, just think for a second, what questions can this come up in? Regional geography, for anybody who just isn't 100% sure, is always question four, five, and six. That never changes. So regional geography, four, five, and six. Our map question, our skills question, is only ever asked as part A. So part A's, as you'll see here, part A's, apologies, I had a little glitch there, is 20 marks, 20 marks, which is five minutes of your time, okay? So 20 marks, five minutes, okay? Now, let's have a look at this question here. So we're asked to draw an outline map of a highlight there, Irish region. So one Irish region. Now, above that, I want you to write down Western region. That you've studied. On it, show and name each of the following. Now, you'll always be asked to show a name for things. In this case, we're asked to show, first of all, a named river. Now, the river we're going to show is the River Moy. Okay, so River Moy, County Mayo. A named feature of relief. Now, remember, Relief is our mountainous areas. And it actually, if I gla glance back at the previous question, or the previous, I suppose, what was asked to be located, instead of rivers, they could say a feature of drainage. So just to point that out, okay? So if you wanted to jot that down, it could be referred to as a feature of drainage. Our feature of relief, what we're going to do is the 12 bins. In County Galway. After that, we're asked for two urban centres. So not one, two urban centres. Now, urban centres that we're going to have, first of all, is Galway. So Galway City. And our second one we're going to do is Castlebar in County Mayo. Now, there is one other thing that is, I suppose, that may be asked, okay? And I'm going to put it on the map for yourself in a second. But you could be asked here, and it's a good thing to jot it down. Anybody who has the notes will see it as in the sample question. So the second question down would be a named, a named communication link or a named road or railway link. So if you don't have the notes in front of you, maybe just jot that down. That is a possibility that they may ask. Communication link, they may say the word road slash rail. Generally, we'll give you an option in relation to that. 
Now, how your examiner is going to mark this, okay? The outline of the map, your examiner will always, always mark it as zero, two, or four. So zero, if it's absolutely useless, okay, sorry to say, two, middle, four, if it's very good, okay? So four marks if your outline of your map of Ireland and the Western region is very good. When you're asked to show or to locate, now, always four items. When you show your marking scheme is graded, it's zero, one, or two. So zero marks if you're completely off, one mark if it's close, two if it's very well positioned. Naming, you get two marks every time you name. So for example, in this case, for naming the River Moy, you get two marks. Now, we're gonna pop over to the map, we're gonna position each of these in and we're gonna kind of grade it as we're moving on. Now, if we pop over to the board here on the left-hand side. So here I have my outline of my map of Ireland. I just quickly sketched it on the board before I started the, vi started the video. Because what you have on your notes, if you glance over to the next page, is you have the outline of it there. So you have the outline of the map of Ireland already in your notes. Now. On that map, the first thing I want you to do is write down your title. So your title here is the sketch of the Western region. Once you have that done, take a second and draw your outline of the Western region on your map of Ireland. Now, remember, it includes three counties. So you might take out your phone and you might actually look up the map of Ireland just to get a glance at them three counties. So you have Mayo, Galway and Roscommon over here, okay? So take a second, maybe pause the video and draw your outline of that map there. Now, once you have that done, I'd advise you to take out maybe a couple of colour pens or you might have a couple of colours there. You might decide to do this in a key or legend or write it on the map. Now, it's important to remember you can write on this sketch map, but don't get that confused with your Ordnance Survey map or aerial photograph where you cannot write on the map. So do not get that confused, please, okay? So you can write on this sketch, but you can't on your Ordnance Survey map or aerial photograph. Now, I'm gonna get straight into positioning everything on the map. So once you're ready, you know, let's get straight into this here. Now, the first thing I need you to position, we're gonna start off with our urban areas. So we're actually starting at the bottom, okay? So we're gonna position them, I suppose, as easy as we can for ourselves going to take the blue pin here and place a dot right along the coast here to mark in Galway City. So going to write it beside it. Here we have Galway City. Now I'll write it actually a little bit above. So Galway City. So this is our first named urban centre. Now oftentimes uh, what we actually might see is we see Galway City positioned away from the coast but for any of you who know Galway City will know ever been out to Salt Hill, it's right along the coast. So make sure you touch the coastline there. So that's our first urban centre. Now our second urban centre, going to mark in blue as well, is up here in County Mayo, kind of in the centre up here. It's going to be place my dot and write in Castle Bar. So that's my second urban centre. Now if you're finding it difficult maybe on YouTube to actually see these, take out your phone, pop in, Castle Bar into Google Maps and it's going to bring up exactly. So take your time the first time you're positioning each of these in here. Now the third thing I'm going to go to do is I'm going to pop in my mountain ranges, okay? So pop in my mountain ranges. So I'm going to go just along the coastline in Galway, pop in my little mountains here and on the side I'm going to write in my 12 bins. Okay, so just along the side. Now you could have, if particularly if you were doing the borders Midlands and West, you could have picked the Ox Mountains, okay, which cross into County Mayo, but I'm just going to pick the 12 bins along the coastline, nice and easy to position, okay. Next, I'm going to do my feature of drainage or my named river, whichever way it says it in our exam question. I'm going to take my red pen, go up to actually where Banana would be and kind of do kind of like a C shape stretching in across the border there, okay, of our western region. Here in red, we have the River Moy. 
okay? So our River Moy. Now, you could have the River Carb either. You could have the River Suck, which passes to Roscommon. There's no problem whichever river you choose. I'm choosing the ones I think are easiest to position on the map, okay? So I've thought about these. These are the ones I feel myself are easiest for you to position, i.e. get your full marks, your two marks for your location in each. Now, the last thing I did mention, which is actually in your sample question, if you glance down at it, is a communication link or a road or railway. Now, this has never been asked for an Irish region, but it has been asked for your European region, your part A, and it also has been asked in your continental, subcontinental question. So this is just a safety net for you all, because let's face it, if it's been asked in European and it's been asked in your continental, subcontinental, it's going to be asked in your Irish region at some point. So here from Galway, I'm going to write in my motorway from Galway to Dublin. So here, what we have, and it kind of jolts up a little bit, I'm crossing over Galway City, doesn't matter. We have my M6 motorway. So my M6 motorway, which actually travels towards Dublin in the GDA, is it my communication link or it's my road, okay? So whichever it is there. Now, just a quick glance back. So this is my peripheral Irish region, my sketch map of it. In total, this is worth 20 marks. 20 marks, every part A to us is five minutes. So it is very, very tight. Now, because of the tightness of the time there, okay, because it's not a very long, like it's not a huge bracket of time, you have to be really, really careful to make sure that you have this practiced and practiced and practiced again and again and again, your outline and positioning because it's an easy 20 marks, okay? It's a very easy 20 marks if you put the effort in yourself. Remember, each thing named, there's always four things asked, each named is two marks. Each located is graded as zero, one, or two. Now you want to be getting the two. Your outline of your map of Ireland and the Western region is worth, it's graded again, zero, two, or four. So it's a very, very easy question. It's a very nice question. It's a very predictable question, okay, to come up. One map of either your Irish, European, continental, subcontinental has appeared every single year. So it's basically learn them and you have them in the bag. Now, just one thing before I let you go, okay? Um, no one in the room with me, so I'm not really letting you go. You can actually pause or turn off at any time you want. But one thing just to glance back at over here, and I do think eventually this is going to be a question, okay? So if I was to predict myself how your examiner is, the examiner is going to change the exam. One thing I will say is, and I know I've mentioned it in class before, is I do think they're going to, and you'll see it in the sample question there, they're going to say, draw an outline of an, and they'll put in here, they'll tell you whether they want either a core or peripheral region. Now, I think that is the next thing your examiner is going to do to make the exam a little bit tougher because what they're saying, you have to do both areas and they're saying, well, if you haven't both of them learnt, you know, they can trick you out here. So it's a good idea just to be thinking what your examiner is going to do next. And that's probably one of the most probable things that they're going to do to force you either to do the West or the GDA, okay, in your exam. Now guys, make sure I know you're all sitting at home. It's very, very important okay, for yourselves to keep on top of your work. So we want to keep moving, we want to keep moving through the course as quickly as possible, both yourselves and me, okay, because we have to keep going, guys, even if you're not sitting in front of me in class. It's really, really important. So take your time. Really, this is all about practice, okay? So I need you on page number four, you have the outline. Page number five, there's a blank sheet there for you to do your outline now, not tracing, okay, because... I know what some people's like, you can't trace on the day. Keep drawing it out, okay? 10, 15 times. Take out an old copybook, sketch, 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 guys, okay? Guys, we'll see you in lesson two where we're going to be looking at our physical characteristics. Bye now.